action. What's up guys? So we're back again with our blueprint reading class. We added a couple more notes. So if you guys are taking notes, take notes. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you guys can see and give you guys a second to write if you gotta write. This is our class today. All right, put my phone up. Phones up, except for the one you're using to watch this video. Make sure you keep that on. So, to rehash what we went over is Blueprint Reading 101. We've got to separate that so you guys don't get that confused with all these notes. There we go. I'm going to put a nice solid red line across the board. All right. So, the most common things you see on a fabrication blueprint. This is not machine shop. This is none of that. This is welding and fabricating basics and also basics of those as well it's a couple things you can pull from this to use on that you know what i'm saying so it's a couple things here and there what we can use and pull from okay so let's see zoom in a little bit all right there all right so blueprint reading basics some of this pertains to blueprints in general some of this blue uh pertains to just welding and fabricating okay so, number one, measurements and dimensions. You see measurements and dimensions on any print that you look at. Bill of material is on there. That, now that specifically pertains to well, if you're putting something together and that tell you the dimensions and the size and thickness of all the parts that you need in that fabrication. You got main mark. Each print has a main mark of some sort of what the main piece is. A directional mark, south, west, north, east, where it's going to go. Running dimensions, RD, running dimensions. Running dimensions, dimensions is something you see on your print as well. You got center lines. Center lines is on prints. Pinning lines, weld symbols. In some cases, if it's welding, but with machining and everything, you don't have weld symbols if it's machining. <laughs> And or if it's like construction blueprints with wood. Extension lines, you got FS and NF. If anybody in the comments down below that ever fabricated in a shop can tell me what that is down below. Parts, it tells you the parts, the name of the parts. Every part has a number and a name. Dimension lines and sectional views. Sectional views is where it breaks it apart and say if you're looking at this section It'll blow it up and show you everything you need to know as far as the measurements and stuff So these are what I feel are the basics That's what I feel that is the basics of all blueprint reading These right here, so I'm gonna step out the way Oh, my bag, and one more thing. If you see this, I think it's something like this, and it has like an arrow point to it. That means that it's a hole. It's hole. That means hole. Okay. <clears throat> let me let you guys write that down if you need to write it down this is just an informational video purpose only these are things that I feel like everybody needs to know um, and we get more in depth as we go along through these courses that we are producing the welding machine courses this is just the basics anybody can you can look up any print I'm trying to bring it out mostly for welders and fabricators but because we deal with actual structural plans like this. This is just a plan for, hold on. This is just a plan for a building, a part of a building. So, so I'm trying to help you guys understand this concept. Okay. So everybody got that written down? We talked about everything. Everything, everybody's good. Okay. Okay. Now, let's move on. Got to I'm gonna erase it. You got it? All right, it's gone.
Now, we're going to put some of these to, to test. Okay? Okay, now, we went over some of the basics. Now, it's time to, we got out of the basics. So, 